Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4. <laughs> uh, we're going to stop the dragon cultist at Marion's Hall. And we also have this new look from the- oh, hi guys. Great, can't even talk. So anyway, we have this new costume that we got in the last episode from the thing. It's only temporary, it only lasts 7 days, but it has some pretty good perks. Hey, stop that. So, <laughs> see PETA, it's their fault. Um, see, look at this. It, honestly, I don't like it too much, but it's better than our original look that you're going to be seeing once this goes away anyway. So, woo! Okay, I am just unstoppable <laughs> with all the stats that came with this. That's funny. Wow, that's a lot of damage. 5k. I mean, I'm only level 7. I, I do like 40k, something k in my level 66, but I mean, for a level 7 character, this is a lot of damage. The fact that I'm one hitting them. That's awesome. Okay, we'll get through this faster. We could probably do like 80 million dungeons in one video. In a span of five minutes. I'm just kidding, I wish. Just kicking them. Like, yeah. Hmm. That's pretty cool. We're now this unstoppable cleric. The paladin of justice. The crusader of truth. The... Thing. Yeah, my oh, can we learn holy kick? Whoa, my nose touched. I know. Don't laugh. Yes! I love holy kick. That's so powerful. Like, it's a really useful skill. Oops, put you there. That's because, like, as skills build up, I'm used to having them in certain ways compared to my level 66 character. That's why I have them oddly spaced already. But it's okay. And we're already at the boss dungeon level. One second, guys. There. <laughs> Are you really prepared to take me? You fool! <laughs> one hit, one kill. We're too good. We're not allowed to play this game anymore. <laughs> We're too good. Yay, I got seven monies. <laughs> I seem like a bad guy now. The tides have turned. Ah, oh, it was one. I bet it'll be four next time. Thank you. I need good armor. See, on top of your armor, the costume's armor also adds on. So, I forgot to do that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ooh, diamonds are useful, like, even to... I think. Uh, you know, what do I know? Don't listen to me. Hello. He's bleeding profusely. That means a lot. That was a magnificent strike, Jedi Master. You have truly come into your element. You are worthy to be called a divine knight, my brother. <gasps> Jacob! How can this be? Do not look so shocked, my friend. No, this is all a misunderstanding. There must be a good reason you're wearing the mask. My duty was to steal the two ancient relics, but I took too long, and now we have come to this. You betrayed us? I did not do it out of spite, my friend. I have no regrets, no resentment. My path was simply different from yours. Why did you join the side of evil? Why? Evil, good. They are two sides of the same coin. Nope. I'm just <laughs> the only difference is which side is up. Who knows? The dark side of the coin might come from you. How can you say that? I don't have much time left. You must reach for your dreams. When you break free of deception, you will gain a new understanding. You must follow your own path. That is your fate. Thank you. 
It's not too late, Jacob. Repent. Repent of your wicked ways. Do it. If you don't, I swear I'll hunt down every last dragon cultist in the world just to spite you. Perhaps, perhaps that is for the best. You are always closer to me than a brother, even though we never developed that in the story. We'll just pretend that happened before the escape started. Your trials are far from over. Remember my words. Reach for your... No, not like this, Jacob. Open your eyes. No! A faint smile crosses his lips. He falls still. You shout his name, but there is no answer. Eventually, you stand, feeling an ache in your chest, a wound left by a betrayal of trust and a glimpse of things beyond your understanding. <laughs> what I don't like is that your cleric attitude kind of disappears as you play this game, because when you start doing the main quests that are kind of like for everybody, you kind of turn into this teenager thing. Uh, well, you know, what do I know? Jacob, no! <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all night. Morning, day, whatever. Well, it's truly fitting for my upgrade from this chapter. My new look. It's this all fitting, just like an anime. You're, hey, what's wrong? Don't tell me. Did you lose the dragon cultist relics? I have the relics. You have them? Excellent. This is fantastic news. News. But why do you look so glum? Tell me everything. I unmasked our dragon cultist. It was... Jacob. Brother Jacob, that cannot be. How could one of our own have fallen so far? He seems so righteous. He warned me not to be too trusting. He said I would only get hurt. I never guessed he was warning me about himself. Brother Jacob. I still don't understand. What could have motivated him to betray the will of the goddess? I can't imagine what Brother Jacob's intentions were. But maybe, maybe he wanted you to stop him. You said he didn't fight back. Jacob, what was that dream that you had? Why don't any of your words make sense? Ooh, we get to picky picky. I'll take the mace, of course. Or shield? It's hard to come by shields. I'll take the shield. I know it will be difficult, but there are still things left for us to handle. Let's keep this between us. Let's just say Brother Jacob was slain by a dragon cultist. Okay. Now, we should return the vision orb and the sage's cane. You talk to Leonard. I'll return the vision orb to Lady Cynthia. I can't believe we'll get to see the prophecy with our own two eyes. Yoshinikaoga, Yukuni Haunike. Goddesses, toenails, you really did it, huh? Hell of a job, kid. Maybe you divine knights aren't all screw ups, though you're following the wrong guy. <laughs> now, for the sage's prophecy. What is the sage's prophecy? Long ago, the sage predicted that there'd be two omens to signify the end of the world. The Star of Birth signaling the birth of a prophet, and the Star of the Ancients signaling the awakening of the prophet. Two stars and a prophet, huh? He said the prophet would one day save the world from catastrophe. <laughs> if I know how. Anyways, the Star of Birth appeared a couple of days ago, and just recently, the Star of the Ancients showed up, meaning the prophet has awakened. His Holiness Pontiff Terum saw the appearance of the Star of the Ancients, so he entrusted me with the Sage's Cane. He instructed me to combine the cane and the orb at the place rich with mana, and the prophecy would unveil to me. Why didn't you contact Saint's Haven about this? The Divine Knights would have helped protect the cane. Goddess, you knights are in vain. Why is everything always got to be about you? See, His Holiness suspected that there would be dragon cultists hiding within the Divine Order. He didn't want news to reach their bloody ears. Bah, what's done is done. We've got the relics now, don't we? Anyway. Cynthia will be here soon for the ceremony. I think you've earned the right to see the prophecy too. I think it's a uh, cutscene time, guys. Holographic imagery and recording.
So if you played the prophecy and you weren't listening, that'd be it. <laughs> well, now we know who the prophet is. It's always some girl who or person who appears to be ordinary but really isn't. <laughs> the prophet is in danger. Blast it all. We must rescue the prophet. The Divine Knights would be happy to assist in any way we can. I don't like it, but our options are limited. Fine. Inform Thomas of the prophecy and request his help. The prophet's well-being lies in your hands now. Yes, sir. Well, guys, I believe we're ending the chapter with these last few lines of dialogue. Good news! I've heard from Saint Haven. We, the 4th Divine Knight Corps, have been dispatched to Carderock Pass, along with the 2nd and 3rd Divine Knight Corps. However, well, the cultists have infiltrated the Divine Knights, as we've clearly seen. I don't know what... I don't know that we can trust the Divine Order. I know their <laughs> voices, by the way, change every episode. Like, sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. Hope you're not dying. There's only one thing I could do. Effectively, immediately, I hereby expel you, Brother Jedi Mastero, from the Divine Knights. What, what do you mean, Brother Thomas? You are the only one I can trust, and you must be free to uncover the truth behind all of this. You cannot do that if you stay with the Order. No, Brother Jacob was right. You must, follow, you must be free to follow your own path. Only then will we get to the bottom of things. But, but without the order, I have no direction. I, I don't know what to do. Your mission is simple. Rescue the Prophet. That is the last mission I give you. And though we may not belong to the same order, you will forever be my brother. <laughs> The Adventurers League at Kadarok Pass will help you. I pray that the Goddess watches over you, and that someday our paths cro cross again. Shall cross again. I was thinking about Jacob. Some things actually... Well guys, that just about wraps up uh, this first part in the storyline of the Cleric in Dragonest. Let's see if I can pull up the thing here. This wraps up chapter one, I believe. Uh, there is one more kind of side story where you get to s um, piece together all the missing links of the story that we'll take care in the next episode. Uh, thank you for staying with the series if you've made it this far. This is chapter one of the cleric story in the dragon nest. Uh, stay tuned for the next chapter, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.